Good afternoon, everyone. Good happy weekend. So here we are again for another episode of our The Dreamers and the Drewers group. So this is every Saturday and Sunday live. Hello, May J. Thank you for joining me today. Hi. So today we are going to share about the importance of social media and the impact on the society. I'm not sure how I can uh, share this, but I hope I um, I will do my best to share today. <laughs> as, as we are in hurry, we just get home <laughs> and I just get out in the car and uh, put on my computer and my phone. I'm, and luckily I got the signal because sometimes I have always difficulty of of the signal and this is good because when you are traveling you can carry your phone and you can work anywhere and this thank you and yeah. today before we go on we just like to introduce ourselves we want to introduce first may Jane. sure hi thanks for um hosting even though sometimes you know the, the schedule is really tight and this is the beauty of it you know um Sometimes yeah. we we are all human. We go late as well. Sometimes we're early. Sometimes we're perfectly on time. Sometimes not. But that's fine. It's part of life because we have things to do as well. And that's the beauty of it. Just like what you said, you could just bring along anything like a social. This is a part of a social media. We're using um, Facebook right now through StreamYard, and this is great because you could just grab. A phone or a, a, yeah. a laptop as long as you have an yeah. in internet connection it would perfectly work you know um, anyways my name is Maze. if you haven't watched any of our videos yet um i'm originally from the philippines and i am living in germany for already 15 years uh what else uh i migrated here for a better life that's always what filipinos would always say you go out of the country to go, to do a better life so my one of the goals that i have is to help out my family back home my parents back home because i think it's it's time for me to give back whatever it is that they have given to me when i was growing up so yeah that's it basically that's it i'm single so um thankfully i i don't have to support another family but then you know it's always open it's um it's good to be a blessing to other people and that's great back to you michelle thank you maj yes we are the filipinos and we always uh going abroad for something to help our family and same as maj i am currently I, my name is michelle and i am currently living here in spain so um I've been in the business for more than a year now, and I am happy to be part of the business because, you know, I am full-time doing it full-time. And, you know, since I'm doing this full-time, I always, uh, we can go travel and we can, I can carry my my business. And like Mei Jay mentioned that anytime if you have that uh, <laughs> phone, you can work on your phone. So I'm so grateful that you can carry your, your business anywhere and work anywhere so um what else i'm just like black my mind i don't know what to say <laughs> yet because it's just like pushing me to go on through here uh, but actually you know that that's the best thing is in this business that you are always capable and you are your flexibility time is always there and i love doing this so I think that's all part of me. Uh, well, I am a wife and I am a poor mom. And I have three doggies that I will always carry wherever we go as a as <laughs> well. But we love to be here uh, in our second home. We are in our second home. So today we are going to share about the importance of social media and the impact in our society. In our society. I think Meiji can share it first. You want to share it sure. first, Meiji? Sure, sure. Um, I'll, I I would like to share an introduction in a sense like I Googled it up. How many people are actually using social media? That's the question that I Googled up. And it came up. It says 4.76 billion people around the world um, now use social media. I'm reading it from my computer. And 137 million, again, 137 million 
new users have come online within the last 12 months. The average daily time spent using social media is 2 hours 31 minutes. That is huge. And if you compare it, it's like half of the world, more or less, are, are using social media, whatever that may be. Um, I think basically the, the, I think I might be able to say this according to statistics, actually. It's Facebook and YouTube are always on the very top, on the very top. And um, the last few years, I think it's TikTok going as well. But the number of users are still very high for YouTube and Facebook. Anyways, that's for the introduction. So um, what? why are we actually using social media? Um, Michelle, could you share the banner, please? So we use the social media to first share information. Whatever information that we, we want to share with people, probably it's uh, an event of, of your life or probably um, whatever information. Oh, she's gone. She left me on my own. <laughs> this is the, the thing with social media. I don't know if I am still live, but I guess I am. I just don't know how that works. It says I am live. Let me double check on my phone if I am doing live because she is gone probably there's a wi-fi connection there you go she's back sorry you were gone <laughs> you're i'm gone because i got a, it's a problem with my signal so sorry about okay. that i didn't even know that it would continue there you go you learn again another thing i didn't know that if the host would be gone it continues i was unsure and i was like but it says live and it continues. Like I was, I wanted to check on my phone if it's really live or not. And there we go, she's gone again. Anyways, so I was saying that um, you use social media to share information, one. Another thing is to make connections. Um, especially the last two years, you know, when people, when a lot of people oh are goodness. isolated. I'm trying this and there I have a there. problem. <laughs> I have the problem to to go on hold on sorry oh so we're we're having some technical difficulties right now which could happen anytime that's uh that's the beauty of being live you know you never know there are surprises and hiccups but you know you just continue on the topic and wait up until um the that someone comes back again hopefully she would come back again i have no idea but every now and then i hear her so i think she's there and she's gone again <laughs> anyways so i i personally use um social media to communicate with my family and friends i live quite far from them um and it's always nice to share my daily things you know um so that right. they are updated in my life. There you go again. <laughs> I have a problem because I am in the top of the mountain. And oh. this, is, this is a a problem that we always lose ah. connection here. Very, so, um, the signal is weak. Okay. Yeah. I, I continued anyways. I said, you're gone. And then she's there again. And then you're gone. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's okay. the, that's the yeah. thing that going live. You could always have something like this. There could always be a technical difficulties, but you know, it's part of it. It's 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 okay. That's when you know that never scripted, it's never scripted. You something else could always happen. It's always a surprise. <laughs> Anyways, so I was saying to share information, to make connections with family and friends, um, to learn new things. Have you ever done that? I have done that a million times, I guess, especially when it comes to baking and to cooking. You go on YouTube and search for how to blah, 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 whatever cooking. And then I watch it again. And then I, I watch it, I post it and do whatever it is that that person is saying and trying to, to copy that, you know. And it's very, very helpful. 
um, you could always develop your interest. For example, if you're interested on a specific topic like baking, cooking, or probably photography, you know, you could always search something. And this is the best thing about it. I remember, I feel old when saying this. I remember when I was um, still in high school or, or elementary days, there, there are things called encyclopedia. That's the original Google we don't have Google that much during that time. You know, if you need to, to search for a certain topic, there's a thing called library. You go there manually with your whole self physically and search manually again for the catalogs. Where should I get the book and stuff like that? And we are very, very, very lucky and blessed, I would say, that um, the information is right on our fingertips. You know, the moment you think about, oh, what's this? You just type in in Google and then you have the information after a few seconds. That's it. Actually, it's more on of overflowing of information. So it has pros and cons on those things. And as usual, we use social media to be entertained or to entertain someone else. So um, a lot of things, it could be something personal, it could be something on the business side as well. Because if, if I, told, I told you a while ago that it's 4.76 billion people using it and, and the numbers are rising, the numbers are always going up. So imagine if you're doing something with social media marketing. Wow, the, the, the number of customers, the number of probably the probable customers that you would have is just amazing. So yeah, I think I've, I've talked a lot. I'll go back. I'll give it back to you, Michelle. You could add on whatever it is that you could add on with social media. I can't hear you. Yes, thank you, May J. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'm sorry for the interrupt uh, connection. So yes, right uh, nowadays, everyone was using social media. Do you know that I have some friends and I saw them that they have a newborn baby and they make an account for the newborn baby, but they're using <laughs> them. Uh, but, you know, that's that's amazing that May, uh, May J mentioned that there's billion of people around the globe using internet, is using social media, especially TikTok, especially Instagram, so, and Facebook. Facebook is the most popular one, I think, that most people are using Facebook. And YouTube. Yeah. Yes, YouTube too. And with YouTube, there's so many uh, uh, informative information there that they, they always share for people with, they are using it for, for like, what do you call that? It's tutorials, tutorials. Tutorial, or sometimes they, they call themselves as a blogger. Right? Yeah. So, you know why? Because through internet, we can leverage the internet. Through social media, we can leverage social media. So many markets out there that are using social media to promote, to, to do marketing, because they can do income from that, right? So it is important also that we can communicate with the people of our friends, longtime friends, classmates before. Now with the use of social media, we can search them and we can communicate with them. That's really cool also. That's also uh, something that like us, like Meiji and I, we are working uh, away from our family. For me, it's very important that I have social media because I just go there and communicate my family. I can do video call with them using the social media, that, right? It's it's very powerful nowadays that you have that. And and you don't, it costs nothing if you are using it, right? So the impact in society, it's a big, big impact in our society. I think moreover in the coming years, I think technology is more than um, every, every year there are new, uh, there are new, what do you call that? Uh, new application, new web, new social media that's coming in, right? 
And we also, we, people use GPT. <laughs> you know, it's very informative because if Michi mentioned before that uh, late 80s, students need to go to library and research. Now, with the use of social media, they can do research online and they have dictionaries, they have encyclopedias and everything. But sometimes there is pros and cons effect to the people, especially to the society. If you're using it in the good thing about you to share your knowledge, to share your mission, it's good. But if you're using it in a bad way, there's a big impact also for the other people. It's more than nice impact with the young people, especially. And there's a, a contrast also and effect because gadget, there's some high vibration in the gadget. More people was engaging in it. And I know that I, last other day I saw a, a video, a baby crying a lot, crying a lot because the mother wants to get away the phone. And he's cried a lot. And then when the mother came back, they returned back the phone. He's okay. But you know that? That's that's the bad impact of, of gadgets for the children. But I think it depends for the parents on how they can um, help their, their children, right? So social media nowadays is very important. But there's pros and there's cons. And and depends for the parents, depends for the person who work, wants to use it, if you use it in a good way or in other way. So everything you can look at is from online. If you lose something, you can look at it also from online. <laughs> you can <laughs> communicate anytime online. So I think that's a good idea also, right? Well, right. as I said, with, with um, pros and cons, so that's all for me, Meiji. Anything to add? No, I think we already have said a lot of things about um, just like what you said. The, there are always pros and cons with everything, anyways, and we just need to be careful as well. Um, I'm I'm not saying I'm not saying I, I want to scare you or something like that. Those who are watching, no, it's not. It's just that we need to be aware that there are all, also things that are not so good in the social media just like normal you know day-to-day -day life there there are things that we need to be careful about and um especially if we have just like michelle said if we have um children around us not necessarily your own children but also to be careful about what we are showing them and what what we are giving them you know because because you'll never know what that person is going through especially for children because their minds are still developing so it's better to place a positive input in their minds rather than something else you know that's the only thing that i want to add on i think that's it for for my side as well thank you so much for hosting i know it's kind of tight on your schedule just like what i said and still it it worked well <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, May J, and thank you for tuning in. If not, I said, oh, I'm going to alone here. <laughs> but thank you, Mary <laughs> J, and thank you. And we have another go live tomorrow at the same time, or maybe a bit late, 8.30 or something like that. I think around 8.30 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So stay tuned. We are some of our business partners because we are a group of seven and we cannot make it in our own schedule. So... Tomorrow, some of them will be joining and stay tuned because they are going to share also about the same topic as we shared today. So that's all we can share for today. And to those of you who are wanted to liberate social media by a good use, come and connect with us and let's talk. You can communicate with MayJ or you can uh, message me directly and ask information and we are happy to mentor you and to help you how you can leverage and do your second supplement income through this online business so that's all for today everyone thank you so much may j see you tomorrow for another go live bye everyone bye thank you